Madison from Adventure Family Journal. Today, I'm in the country of Italy. I'm in a region called Tuscany, which is in central Italy. I'm on a farm called Tunata Adamo. I'm with my three sisters, Reagan, Devin, and Peyton. We've also invited our two friends, Sophie and Doris, to join us. The Tuscan region is known for great food. The fantastic food comes from all the fruit and vegetables that grow here. Welcome girls to Tenuta Damo. Over here we produce wine and olive oil. At the moment we're in the olive grove. On this farm they grow grapes and olives. We're here to help with the olive harvest. How fun! So we're collecting the olives because it's olive season. And we got the guys over there picking it. Would you guys mind helping us out? Yes. Yeah! Great! First, we need to know if the olives are ripe and ready to pick. So at the moment we're here, this is the newest part of the olive grove. We have some trees that are 300 years old, planted by the Bourbons. This one over here are 50 years old. Now this is an olive tree. Uh, we can recognize the typical leaves of the olive tree plus the olives here. You can see that there's some that are uh, green and some that are black. It's because of the maturity. They don't mature at the same time. Of course, the black ones are the more mature and the green ones are not. When the olives are green, they're in the process of getting ripe. When the olives are black, they're ready to harvest. As I travel around the world with my family, I'm learning about different kinds of science, and farming is science. Some of the olive branches are for producing the fruit, and some just shoot up into the sky. Beside these branches over here, which are the branches of production where you will see all the olives, there's also other branches like this one. You see this one that shoot up in the sky? This one we will prune them every other year because otherwise they block the sunlight uh, from the olives and from the other branches of production that have to make the uh, olives mature. They prune or cut back all the extra branches every other year. Also, we don't pick the olives when they're uh, ripe all the way. We wait uh, up until it goes halfway through the maturity so that the olive oil that we produce is going to be less, but it's going to be more. Olives are picked when they're halfway ripe. When they pick and press the olives at that time, it makes the best olive oil. Antonio works here at the farm and he knows a lot about olives. Antonio taught us how to run our hand down the branches and guide the olives off onto the net. So now I'll teach you how to pick the olives by hand, okay? What we will do is we will hold down some of these branches up until you can reach and then we just run our hand down and we let the olives fall on the net. It was really fun for a while. If we had to harvest all the olives by hand, it would have taken us forever. Uh, how long do you think it's going to take to pick all those olives, considering that we have all those trees up there? Probably 18, 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. 100, 100, 100 million, years. million years. years. Something close to that, but we can do better, okay? We got some uh, nice tools over here. I'll show you guys. We needed a better way. Hmm, maybe there's a tool we can use? Okay, so I think we can pick this olives a little faster. Now we have this tool over here, uh, which is a shaker. It is basically, we put this in the branches. Wow, look at this olive harvesting tool. It's called a shaker. Branch by branch, we'll clean the whole tree and then all the olives will fall on this net. Once we're done picking, we will lift the nets and all the olives will fall down to the last net. And then we collect them and we bring them to a presser. Antonio used the tool, all the olives started raining down on our heads. We loved it. A tool that cool, I had to try. Now if you guys want to help me out, you can use this tool right here. With careful guidance from Antonio, we were all able to try the shaker. We got those olives harvested quickly. It's not a bad job when you have a view this beautiful. So many olives. We had so much fun shaking the olives from the tree. Then we watch the experts do the shaking. They are so fast. When the olives fell down, we have to push them into the lower net to be collected. So now we uh, shaked all the olives out of the trees. Would you guys uh, mind helping me taking this basket and putting all the olives into the baskets? Of yeah, course. yeah, of course. Great, thank you. And uh, then we'll put all the olives in and uh, we'll bring them to an olive press that where they'll press the olives, okay? And uh, we'll wash them, they'll press them, we'll get the olive oil. I love olives, so being on an olive farm is pretty awesome. 
Olives are very high in vitamin E. They're also good for the heart and they protect from diseases like cancer. From olives, we produce olive oil. Olive oil is a very important part of the Italian diet. Finally, when the olives were all packed up, we were headed towards the presser to make olive oil. To the olive press! Antonio showed us where the olive oil was stored and bottled. We tasted the olive oil to see if this farm makes the good stuff. And the verdict is delicious. We love learning about olive farming and harvesting. Every time I eat olive oil, I will remember this harvest. Thank you so much for coming and uh, thank you for helping with the uh, olive trees and uh, hopefully we'll see each other again in the future. Goodbye for now from Adventure Family Journal. Ciao!